Located in the southeast coast of China, Sharman University has always been focused on marine science research and education. Founded in 1921 by Tan Ka Ki, Sharman University immediately began recruiting global marine science talent and ever since has been a hub for internationally renowned research. In 2005, the State Key Laboratory of Marine Environmental Science, or MEL, was established by China's Ministry of Science and Technology. MEL is dedicated to cutting-edge research on global and regional climatic and environmental change. The central focus is on marine biogeochemistry and its interaction with the marine ecosystem. Our overall goal is to make MEL an international center of marine biogeochemistry fostering talent and international collaboration. We care about the ocean health and its relationship with the climate system and the we, the human being. Situated between the land and open ocean, the coastal ocean possesses rich spatial energy and biological resources, as well as diverse ecosystems. But processes like eutrophication, pollution, and overfishing represent a major threat to coastal ocean health what why the eutrophication of the coast zone has major consequences, causing harmful algal bloom and a proliferation of hypoxic regions. Male scientists have been devoted to investigating eutrophication and hypoxia in China's coastal area for over 20 years. Since 2010, we have observed a sustained bottom hypoxia in the lower Pearl River estuary in summer. Both marine and terrestrial organic matter significantly contributed to the oxygen consumption and formation and maintenance of hypoxia. Male scientists are also impacting the socio-economic causes of these changes to the ocean. A recent blue paper seeks to establish a strategy for integrated ocean management. The blue paper shows how integrated ocean management offers the tools to resolve challenges among different ocean users. Integrated ocean management enables us to shift the business-as-usual approach to a holistic, adaptive, and multi-sectoral approach that integrates social, economic, and ecological dimensions of development. The increased atmospheric carbon dioxide from burning of fossil fuels is causing global warming and extreme climate events. The ocean captures and stores approximately 30% of total carbon dioxide emissions, partially mitigating the process of these climate changes. Male researchers are focused on understanding the complex biogeochemical processes behind the carbon sequestration, which includes the biological carbon pump and the microbial carbon pump. The microbial carbon pump is a newly proposed concept. It refers to the microbial process that transform organic carbon from labile states to refractory states. It means the refractory organic carbon cannot be used by the microorganisms. It can stay in the water for a long time, constituting carbon sequestration in the ocean. Playing a key role in the carbon cycle and the Earth's climate system are so-called ocean deserts. The oligotrophic ocean characterized by nutrient depletion and extremely low net biological production. Male scientists have been able to cruise into the center of ocean deserts with the state-of-the-art research vessel, Hankaki, equipped with the GeoTrace standard trace element sampling system. We are examining how much carbon is fixed and exported in the vast North Pacific subtropic gy and how they are regulated by different nutrients, in particular, nitrogen fixation and iron cycling. MEL is more than just a research division. It is a family comprised of individuals from diverse backgrounds and skill sets. And building that team is essential. I feel very lucky to study in MEL for seven years since my undergraduate period. I've been on six research cruises, lasting over 100 days in total, and I'm still looking forward to my next cruise with excitement. At MEL, we have great chances to communicate with top scientists around the world. MEL also provides many opportunities for student capacity and leadership building, which is of tremendous help for my research career. MEL scientists have been actively involved in a series of international science programs on global and regional scales. We will be hosting the SOLAS International Project Office starting from 2021. 
The Shaman Symposium on Marine Environmental Sciences was initiated by Mel in 2014, and now it has grown to be one of the largest international conferences on marine science in Asia. Mel is also focused on the broader impact of science and has established several programs aiming to promote ocean literacy and awareness in the hope of gaining public support for creating a more sustainable tomorrow. Koshi China and 70.8 Media Labs are the two flagship projects for Mail in its public outreach. Over the past 10 years, marine scientists have gone into the local schools to let kids know what the scientists are doing to understand and protect the oceans. Recently, we also integrate a social media approaches to enhance the public awareness for the ocean sustainability. Mel researchers are dedicated to understanding how changes in the ocean today will impact the ocean of tomorrow. And this passion has been well recognized with the Ministry of Science and Technology, naming it one of the best state key laboratories in China.